All right, guys, it's a muddy, 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 muddy mess. <laughs> muddy. <laughs> it always ends up muddy right in front of my shop all the time. So, <clears throat> this is basically what's left of the part 12. Uh, rear end, the uh, frame pieces there, the front axle, um, rear tires, uh, and the motor's right here. <laughs> That motor there is originally out of, uh, I believe it was this one. No, yeah, that motor there is originally out of that 12 back there, Super 12. <coughs> but anyways, I uh, haven't really done a whole lot on that, so on either or, I gotta wait for carburetors. So uh, the orange one, I still gotta put the start generator into it and whatnot. But I found a use for that tow wrecker boom <laughs> all dead corcuses around Yeah, this, this is a, uh, these pallets here are really, really slick with water right now, with mud, and uh, I just, I don't like to uh, climb up them. I haven't really had the chance to put more dirt there to actually level it up with the, the, uh, the wood of the pallets yet, so been too hard to dig into the pile of dirt that I normally get so <laughs> but here's a mess of parts some of the parts there certain some of the parts over there and yada yada so um, <laughs> I finally got my YouTube to where I can make videos over 15 minutes now well actually it was 13 minutes so but uh, yeah, there ain't a whole lot going on. Um, I gotta come back in here and and organize, but I haven't quite got a chance to do it yet. Um, gotta figure out. If I got a leak in my roof, or if that's just coming from my uh, from in here. Or, or what, or if it's my gas can. Not 100% sure, but I gotta figure out what it is, where it's coming from, and why. But, so, anyways, 
I'll get to that hopefully soon. Um, yeah, not a whole lot going on. I wish I could do more, but with it being all muddy and whatnot, it's just hectic. I mean, but uh, that record boom it was actually really nice to have. Um, I was able to lift up the front end and pull the front uh, spindles and tires right off. And then I just put the cinder block underneath the front of it, went around and undone the, uh, the uh, tires for the rear end there. And then started undoing all of the the bolts for the rear end and uh, I uh, dropped her back down onto uh, jack stands and then uh, I used the winch that's on it to lift the, the frame off of the rear axle. It worked really good. I liked it. Um, so yeah, it was, it was made it a lot easier but uh Hopefully I'll have my newer one here soon, hopefully. I'm hoping. <coughs> this one here, um, I gotta charge with the battery because I ran it dead the one day when I tried to get it running. So, um, this one here, she's running good, but I still gotta change the front tire, but, um, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna change it or not, um, Actually, I might have a deal go deal for this one. Um, snowblower and uh, tractor. Um, it's gonna have a cushion seat. Cause I'm gonna keep my pants seat. So I'm gonna keep the wheel weights and tire chains. He's gonna give me a uh, all original 14 uh, snow blade and garden plow for that. So when he's gonna come. Um, I guess he's gonna come and travel, and he might buy the deck out back, so, but, um, so yeah, I haven't even got a chance to change the fuel filter on this yet, I need to, but I just haven't had a chance to, it's pretty dirty down in there, so, so I might end up just giving the guy a spare front tire and let him change it out, and I'm not sure, if I get to it, I get to it. I'll change the front, uh, the fuel filter, but if not, I'll just give them another one. But I ain't gonna change anything on these two until it's 100% to the guy, you know, actually comes the day of, so. But we'll see. <laughs> um, yeah. So. I really don't want to get rid of that 12, but I really don't want to get rid of that 14 either, but if I can get two good, two good, well, 110 and 112, and get another 14 to replace the 14 that I'm getting rid of, I, I'll do it. Um, I'd like to find someone to take these off my hands and the parts, but I don't know. I don't think anybody's going to take them off my hand. Um, the best one is the orange one back there. It's in a lot better shape than, and then the 14 or the 12 here is it's even better days. But I am going to keep the uh, the dash off the one over, over there to go with this. But I do have this on uh, Craigslist for sale. But whether or not somebody actually buys it or not, I don't know. It's, it's seen better days. I mean, look at that. It's, I think somebody painted on that with like house paint or something. So it just it just flicks right off. So I don't know. But um, so yeah, I gotta pull that uh oh that rod holder right there off that. I could use that on something I want. And if I do get a carburetor here soon, um, if I get this one running, I'll just use this for like a beater to tug and pull and whatever else. But 
I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I got a good 12 hood, but I mean, it, it's really rusty. But it, it's all solid. Um, if anybody's interested in it, I mean, it's it's really solid. I mean, it's got a bunch of you know surface rust on it. Oh, so it just needs to be you know really take care of, really sand down really good, and a good coat of paint, and should be good. You know, a good hood. Um, there's only one bend. It's right there. Which is easy. It's real easy fix. So, um, another thing I found on this frame up here, <laughs> which I'm not sure how. I got another dash right there too to go with it. Another grill. Well, different style grill, but but uh, <laughs> I've never seen this before. But on this frame here, and the back head. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. On this back half, it's been tweaked. It's been pulled up. I've never seen something like that happen before. <laughs> but yeah, this I'm gonna keep this uh, dash, and uh, hopefully get that steering wheel cut off. That's still a good steering wheel. But uh, <laughs> well, I'll find out tomorrow. Um, I got a buddy that's coming up to get that old stove and <coughs> and chairs and whatnot so I'll throw that uh that tractor frame in in there without the dash or steering wheel in and what a bit of miscellaneous stuff that I ain't gonna use. Um but yeah if anyone you need the you know, the original pan seed or the uh, defenders um I got a battery tray. I got the floorboards. Floorboards are in a real good shape too. Um, <laughs> they're a little rusty on the bottom, but they're real good on. I got the clutch rod. I mean, yeah. So. <sighs> uh, I'm selling. <laughs> Screen here, it's really hard to find. It's in real good shape with the uh, the hardware and the little spacers that are there in it. I got two of the blue side panels that I'm selling. Um, this is the other side panel. Um, I'm selling starter generator cover. Um, I'm selling the pulley for the generator flywheel and I'm selling these two uh, PTO covers <laughs> and <coughs> a PTO cover that's on the side of there because I don't use them um, I really don't have any use for them never had a problem with a belt staying on the pulley so I really don't need them and if I do, I got two floating around here anyways, so, but if anybody's interested in them, uh, let me know. Um, uh, the orange one, I'm going to keep the uh, third generator cover for it, but eventually I, and the, uh, the side panel, <laughs> but if it comes down to it, I'll probably end up selling them too, so, but, um, so yeah, I got the third generator. It's right here. Um, I'm not sure if that key switch works. I have yet to try it out. So if it don't, I'll just put this key switch in. Yeah, it's right. Never mind. I won't put that key switch in. I forgot. That key switch don't work. I forgot. So hopefully that key switch does work. Which I'm not 100% sure. So <clears throat> um, if not, I know... I'm going to have to eventually buy a key switch because that one there has got a, a newer style with the five prong and then it's got the little fry, five prong harness on to it wired up and then to a, a uh, solenoid and all that good jazz so but um 
I've been thinking about painting it, but I just... It's basically on my last priority right now. I'd really like to get that... That orange one up and going, but... I don't know. I've been just... Really thinking about, but... Putting both of them... On the sidelines. And just worry about them when spring comes around. But... I know... <laughs> if I move them out of here and put them on the side there... I'll get ambitious and then want to work on them, and I'll have to move them both back in here, or move one and back in. So I'm just gonna leave them in here. I'm just gonna pick up all my tools and whatnot, and pick up out around here and whatnot. So, but for today, I'm pretty much done. So, I uh, it's Christmas, uh, or yeah, Christmas. It's New Year's, so um, I'm gonna go find something to do. I don't drink, so, but I want to find something I do instead of sit home like I normally do. I don't go out to bars, I don't go out to, you know, do anything fun. I'm just normally always home, so I want to do something fun for, for once. <laughs> but, <laughs> who's that wow ass Ford? <laughs> But, not a whole lot going on with the car, running real good, uh, I, uh, one tire I had a hole, or a screw or a nail in, this is it, uh, I got it plugged, it's been plugged for quite a while, it's been holding air real good, so, um, <coughs> these are my stickers, uh, this one here I got from a friend when I saw it on her car. And up here, um, if you know the Fast and Furious movies, you'll, uh, you'll know that saying up there, a dude almost had you. Yeah. And then this is the newest one here. Because it's really loud. <laughs> uh, sometimes when it echoes through the woods, it sounds like a, a Chevy. <clears throat> this is the other newest one. I'm a hood scoop, so I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> but alrighty, guys, have a good uh, New Year's and be safe, and uh, most of all, have fun. <laughs>